Hello, beautiful, amazing, fantastic world. And you, amazing, beautiful, sublime individual. <sighs> Today, I would like to, well, have a video of gratitude, a video of appreciation, and a video of the feeling of the many deep feelings I do have for, well, this moment and for this point in time and for all of you individuals. We have reached over a hundred subscribers. That is, to me, just amazing. That is, it is kind of surreal, surreal and a little surprising, really. I didn't expect it to go this, this fast, you know? I have I, I had steeled myself for a much much longer ride, but I nonetheless I'm super super grateful for all of you. You bring individuality, you bring uniqueness and well yourself into this world. You bring creativity, light, hope, love for those that are close to you and to yourself. You bring upliftment and, well, the way moving forward. We always move forward. Moving forward, be it on comfortable or uncomfortable grounds. Being a creative explorer, more or less. But to be a creative explorer requires, of course, inner strength of will, inner strength of morals and values. Immersing ourselves in the true, the good, and the beautiful, as I call it. So, keep on doing your work. Keep on doing you, you know? I am full in faith. I'm connected to you as an individual. And from individual to individual, we meet each other. What our groups are, where we come from, what, we, what our past is, and so on and so forth any of these things that is physical is second priority second it is you we shouldn't even prioritize that at all we should be grateful for where we have been born for where we are from for what we have experienced what kind of groups and parents and families and friends that has come and gone and has helped you shape you as an individual human being to today where i meet you, you as an ego, and today it is the individual to the individual. I see your soul and spirit, and you see my soul and spirit. We don't hide behind any kind of things that might obscure our personality. We truly try to show ourselves as who we are, what our soul stands for, what comes out of our soul. And you see being spiritual and having esoteric science on your side as an understanding, a tool for comprehension and, well, compassion. It really helps with the compassion too. The more you are able to truly live your life here, now, moving towards the future. You see you can live in the past Thinking about all the memories and experiences we've gone through. We can even long for the past. Nostalgia, you know. Which roughly translates to pain from an old, uh, from an old wound. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? You're longing for something that is gone. But think about this. In this present moment, you can also live only for the present. So, the past and the future is not... Well, it, it is not consequential to your own thinking and feeling. You can also do that, but you have no guiding force that guides you towards something you have chosen, you see. In the future, we are not in the future per se, but we do have connected to... It is a spiritual truth in the future, kind of. So we know where we are shaping towards. But it is roughly vague and... It is only an estimated feeling, you know, but it is enough to grab a hold onto it and to cultivate it. 
That is the thing. So the more you individually immerse yourself in what you, with your inner ego, choose to focus on your intention on, cultivate, strengthen, develop, Michael will be there to help you because you are using your active inner spiritual forces to create and to understand, assimilate, clearly defined, sharp concepts and symbols that actually have reality to them. We start with materialistic science. You see, it is fully possible to open up the spiritual world from the materialistic viewpoint. It is all about filling in the emptiness, is the best way of describing it. This emptiness is not an emptiness. Oh, it's not an emptiness. <laughs> the more you deepen yourself, this is the truth here. We need to go to the depth. We need to deepen. We won't find our answers out there. We need to connect our inner to the outer again. And only in the depth, in the active, conscious, clear and stable atmosphere is where creation happens. And based on the flavor, the tone, the color of our soul is what comes out of the depth. You see? It has nothing to do with the world per se, because that is the hierarchy. But how we see the world comes out of our inner soul and spirit. So it is about changing our disposition and our perception of the world. So that it can become more aligned with what is truly reality. Living, spiritual, divine reality. And then to realize it more and more and more until... It is so much second nature that we can become conscious. This is happening over lifetimes. So patience, 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 patience. I have to say it many times over. You will become conscious within the spiritual world. Instead of only being vaguely, vaguely connected to the divine around us through our emotions and feelings alone. We are also connecting it through our whole being. Not only our, not only our middle man, but also our upper man. To be able to connect to the spiritual. With clearly, sharply defined concepts and symbols that truly can be understood by all. That is spiritual science. We are finding the spiritual reality behind everything and trying to bring it forth to life through language. But since it is a very new or a recently introduced thing, 100, 100 year old, it is of course much older than that, but it first, it first became introduced as spiritual science in its real sense 100 years ago by Rudolf Steiner. And it, has, and it is steadily growing and cultivating and being worked upon this Rosicrucian stream. This stream that was introduced by 13 people in the 1300s. The 12, the, the 12 initiates and the 13th which united the streams to the Rosicrucian. Where all world streams are united into one. And where you can truly cultivate the all-rounded true human being. And it is about finding the love and the fellowship. The un un unification and the, the connection soul to soul, individual to individual. The more we in move towards the future now, the more we will lose the ability to automatically understand each other. We will have to sit consciously here and wanting to understand each other, to be able to understand each other in the future. That is why we will become so isolated. So those that have not cultivated any of these understandings, you will you can already imagine. They it is no they don't have that what 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 should we do? You see? Spiritual science is to allow us to have hope, 
faith, love, hope to grasp onto, to have a frame of work, to have a frame of dedication and cultivation for the future. And that is what esoteric science does. And when I say, uh, <clears throat> as I said earlier, when I say, say sharply, clearly defined concepts, I also mean realities. So let's take this as an example. I learned it not long ago, so I'm not that well versed to remember. But the outer planets, which is in our solar system here, now we exclude the three last ones, Neptune, Uranus and Pluto. But Saturn represents the movement of uprightness. Jupiter has the, uh, within us is the movement of thinking. Venus is our inner movement of secretion. Mars is our inner movement of speech. Mercury is our inner movement of breath. The sun is our inner movement of blood. You feel the movements. You can feel this. And the last movement, the movement of the moon, is movement of reproduction. These are the physical inner sensations and movement of the planets. And you can become aware of each one of them concretely re re in reality, you see? that, And all of them interact with each other and affect each other and are friends or rivals and based on how they, well, act with each other and so on and so forth is how we also experience ourselves and the cosmos around us. So the, whole re so the whole relation of the planets to the sun and to the constellations and their relationships to each other is the cosmic man in a sense. And there is a cosmic ego there too, you see. And connecting to that over many lifetimes, you on we only get glimpses of it now. But, well... I'm pretty sure those glimpses are enough to make all of us keep going, right? The carrot on a stick, right? That is at least what I will keep going and keep doing. And keep inspiring you guys. And you guys keep doing and inspiring others. And, well, the more we cultivate, we, we become more alike in a sense. But we are still in defi definitely unique. But we still under understand each other because we want to. We want to, well, honor. I want to honor at least your difference. I want to honor your experiences. What did you go through? What did you learn? Who are you today? What is your values? What are you thinking right now? How are you feeling? What, what will impulses is affecting you and all of this in between? These are things I am burning to know, but I just can't. I just can't willy-nilly go ask any and everyone about these things, you know? So it has to come in a more natural and allowing way. And I am not consciously going looking for these things, if you wonder, so don't be, so don't be scared of that. The, more, uh, the spiritual world operates more in, you can become aware that you are directly connecting now to them, but they will make you more aware later, kind of, where you see that osh. Whoa! This was an in. Whoa! This was an experience, right? And then you think more about it, and then you say, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." I see now. I see now. You, you clever, you amazing, clever beings. You. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, it was a video of thanks, but it was also a video of. Well, it has been a couple of days since I was on YouTube, so. I just love coming back. I just love speaking and letting what comes from within flow out. And yeah, be enjoy being enjoyable about it. Trying to be as shiny as you can is the best word. <laughs> as, as the sun, living, life-giving, mo mo mobile, uh, mobility-giving sun which is in constant motion and life and radiance and the sun is undisputable to me. So connect to the sun on earth. Become like the sun on earth. 
And I thank you so much. We will achieve so much spiritual wonder on this world. Just you wait and see. You are an amazing genius and your help is truly needed in all of this. And we will change the world for the better via freedom. We choose an alternative method. We choose to go an alternative route, a different route, and we just go that way. So people can choose to follow along on where they are, on a new way themselves, or in the stream. You see? So it's about preference. If you prefer to live the, you know, if you have a good quality life, of course you would prefer to live that. But if you live in a lower quality life and you would love to stay there, then it is all about the preference, you see. It's all about the inner soul that comes out of the inner soul. So the more you lift your up your soul, your preference becomes different. So I will leave you with this. Thank you so much, you beautiful, beautiful individual soul, you. I love you so much. May you inspire the world too. May you connect to the higher beings and may you be guided to do what you are asked to do. And may we, may we create something beautiful together, something warm, something that is standing for truth, something that is standing for the goodness of the hierarchy. Think about an angel, a warrior angel or an archangel. <laughs> Think about the undisputable radiance of Archangel Michael, for example. Now there we have a, there we have a being worth aspiring towards, right? To become more like him, because he is under the Christ. And well, if he is under the Christ, you can be sure that it is a sun force. <laughs> May Father, Holy Spirit, Christ, Michael, higher uh, higher hierarchy, ancient masters of old, ancestors from every incarnation. <clears throat> well, every mineral, plant, animal too, and every human being. May you be blessed, protected, guided, love, and connect to the present, allowing your inner being to unfold. Thank you so much. As I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to reach 100 subscribers in the weekend or else I wouldn't have taken a break in the weekend and said thank you then. But I felt I had to wait to, till today, let it build up a little. But thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>